sweetie. You do nothing but garbage, brother. Yeah, yeah. What's up, guys? Back here for my Blu-ray collection update. Got a little stack here for, you know, for us to go ahead and go through. Just a couple of things. Uh, just so you know, I've been feeling a little down and out and I got this Macho Man shirt and it's just like taking over you know I feel like it's like venom taking over my body I just I just feel like I'm turning into the Macho Man you know maybe it's just me All right, so first up here we've got Hocus Pocus uh, pretty sure you saw when I opened the package from the Disney Movie Club yeah I got that I watched it um, it was okay, you know, if I had watched it when I was younger, I probably would have more of an attachment to this movie, but, you know, it was decent, um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Then we got Frozen, good movie, uh, really felt like an animated classic, but was more of a girls movie than what I was into, but, you know, it's still a decent Disney movie. Then we got Peter Pan, Return to Neverland. I actually picked this up. Peter Pan is actually my favorite Disney character before Buzz Lightyear came along. So, <clears throat> yeah, I really needed to pick this up, especially with it going back in the vault before it turned into, you know, one of those movies that cost $80 online. Then I got Secretariat. I basically only got this because um, I had a free movie to pick and I own the other ones. I think it was like Cars and um, I don't know what the other one was. I think Bo Bug's Life or this. Um, so I just went with the only one I didn't have. It's got John Malkovich. You know, maybe I'll give it a try. Then next up here, I started my Studio uh, Ghibli collection. Is that how you pronounce it? I got Ponyo, which I'm still awaiting the slip cover. I actually just bought it off eBay. This one was from um, Disney Movie Rewards. And this, these other ones were for the Disney Movie Club. I got the Secret, Secret World of Arietti, uh, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, My Neighbor Tantaro, and Howl's Moving Castle. You know, I've heard nothing but good things about the Disney, or the, yeah, the Studio Ghibli. So I'm looking forward to getting into these when I have some time. And next up we got Scooby-Doo and the WrestleMania Mystery. If you didn't watch this video, it's when I also uh, opened up the Wolf of Wall Street Steel book. And we ran into the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. If you haven't seen that one, go ahead and check it out. I'm going to leave the link for it down below in the description box, brother. And next up, I got Serpico and Little Shop of Horrors. These are actually, if you see, they're from the library rental. Somebody brought these over and was like, oh, you like Blu-rays. Here you go. And I didn't have either one of these. I have the Rick Moranis version of this. Um, and I didn't see this anywhere when it came out in stores. So, you know, they did they did an alright job. They also gave me Frost Nixon. I already own Frost Nixon. So if anybody's looking for Frost Nixon, let me know in the comments. And uh, we can work something out because I have an extra copy now. Then we have The Ultimate Warrior. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, I passed on this originally because it was like twenty-seven ninety-nine, and with the network, a lot of the WWE, you know, DVDs and Blu-rays have been going down in price. But then I was reading online after The Ultimate Warrior died that um, it was sold out everywhere, or most places everywhere in the United States. So I went and paid the twenty-seven ninety-nine for it um, because it's better than having to pay. $90 to some scalper online later. Um, with, in the wake of his death, there was uh, Nancy Grace who was online talking about steroids related to the warrior's death. And she also um, said that, the, that Owen Hart died of steroids. Making herself look like a complete idiot. Anybody that knows anything about wrestling knows that Owen Hart died during his entrance, coming down from the rafters in an accident. I don't know how that relates to steroids. The lady's an idiot. 
We got the ultimate warrior here. Oh yeah. And we got Jason and the Argonauts. This is a Ray Harryhausen. Is that how you say his name? Um, he's the guy that did the original Clash of the Titans. I really like his work. I've seen a lot of his stuff when I was younger. Um, I picked this up for like ten bucks. No, I think it was five bucks. It's five or ten dollars at um, Barnes and Noble. It's got a nice little holographic uh, cover there. Mm, Hulk Hogan, you think you're better than me, brother? Mm, I don't think so. No, no. Then I've got here Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Uh, I've been really been wanting to read the original book lately, so I'm glad that I found the movie. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to watch the movie instead of reading the book. But uh, I'm real interested in this. It's got Robert De Niro in it. Uh, I think it's fairly recent. 1994 it came out, yes? You know, only about 20 years ago, but... Okay, that is a long time ago. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and check this out. I really want to watch this. We've got Straw Dogs here. This is the remake. Uh, when this came out, I really wanted to see it. And then I took the advice of my cousin, and she says, No, it looks stupid now. Stop taking advice from other people, but... I haven't really heard anything about this, but I think it's also like 10 bucks, 5 or $10. So, I just had to pick it up. You know, it's got Eric from True Blood, and it's got Cyclops, it, it looks all right. It looks pretty interesting, I'll give it a try, and I picked up Sid and Nancy, I've been wanting this for a while, I have not seen it in stores, I haven't really seen it on eBay uh, for a decent price, I think I paid like, I paid 20 bucks for this, you know it wasn't really that good of a deal, but um, I had to have it, it's, uh, great movie. Gary Oldman puts on a good performance, but the chick who plays uh, Nancy Sponge and what is her, Chloe Webb, she hasn't really been in anything else. She has that weird voice of, oh, sick, wah, you know? But it was a really good movie. It got me interested in the real Sid Vicious. I really like that song he did, uh, Now I Wanna Be Your Dog. I thought it was a good song. So, it was a good movie. Next up, I picked up Passion, uh, mainly because it was like $12, and it had a red case. And it has Regina George. I'm feeling victimized by Regina George right now. And I picked up Paranormal Activity, the March ones. I was actually going to wait for this to go to the 788 bin or something at Walmart. But then it had this cool lenticular slip. And then I watched it, and actually this is my favorite uh Paranormal Activity movie. I don't like the Paranormal Activity movies. This one, you know, the, the, the end was weird. I'll give you a better review on it on my next weekly watch video, but I, I really enjoyed this movie. A lot better than the other three or four, however many there are. I really like this one. And I picked up Buffalo 66 for like $15 or something at Suncoast. This is the 15th anniversary. I forget how much I paid for it. If you have not seen this movie, I kid you not, this movie is awesome. Vincent Gallo, he plays the hell out of the character. The dude is fresh out of jail. He's wearing high waters and red leather boots. He's freaking psychotic. Then you got Christina Ricci who gets kidnapped in the beginning of the movie and just falls in love with the guy. This was a great movie. You know, it took me uh, kind of... I kind of fell asleep on the first half of it. Not the first half. Towards the, the end of the first hour, I got kind of tired, so I turned it off and I watched it again, the rest of it the next day. But this is a really good movie. Um, it's good. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you, because I read the back of the movie, and I was like, you know, this sounds good. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. And it says, CIA agent Billy Brown brings his wife home to his absurdly dysfunctional family, only Billy's not really in the CIA, and his wife, Layla, it's actually a young tap dancer he just kidnapped to impress his ridiculous and unloving parents. In reality, Billy's whole life is an empty lie. He's fresh out of prison and now on a deadly mission to hunt down and kill the Buffalo Bills kicker, Buffalo Bills kicker, who botched, whose botched field goal he believes ruined his life. However, Billy's new hostage may ruin everything. Their crazy attachment blossoms into a desperate and oddly... Excuse me beautiful romance that may or may not be a sweet, subtle, 
there may or may not be a sweet enough substitute for revenge. Great movie. He, I think he wrote it and directed it and starred in it. Like every every credit is almost Vincent Gallo. But this is a really good movie. It has kind of an IFC feel to it. Like the original IFC before they uh, started doing commercials and mainstream movies and all that crap. But this one uh, definitely picked this up. If you haven't seen it, you need to go see this. This is really, really good. Then I got Bates Motel here. I think I already did a review on this in one of my last videos. Um, my sister told me this show was good. The second season had just premiered. I tried to watch it on Netflix, but she had she hadn't paid her Netflix yet, and I didn't feel like waiting. So I went out to Best Buy and I bought this, and it was worth it, all the way. Then next up, I got right along here. Um, I didn't watch this in theaters. It was decent. Uh, it wasn't really as funny as I thought it was going to be. Kevin Hart's movies are starting to go downhill for me. I really enjoy his character, and. I, I like their, their on-screen partnership that they had going on. But the movie itself, eh, it could have been better. Then next up, I got American Hustle uh, for $12.99 at FYE. I was glad I picked that up. Got a, got a good deal on it. It was uh, pretty expensive everywhere else. But um, it was good. You know, it it wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be, but it's still a really good movie. And the thing I like about this is you've got Rocket Raccoon, Lois Lane, Batman, Mystique, and Hawkeye. I found that hilarious. The special packaging, I got this Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This, uh, I picked it up because I always try to pick up all the digibooks. And I was not happy with this one. This is 20th Century Fox second crappy release where it's not the same size as the normal digibooks. Let's, let's comparison. Um, as you can see, it is slightly wider and then slightly taller. And it, so it goes through all that and then doesn't even have the plastic case holders. I don't like these. And then the inside, I really don't even care about the pages on the inside of what they are, but it doesn't really even pertain to the movie at all. I like the holographic slipcover, but... It's too late to take it back. Um, that's all I gotta say about this. Oh, my madness is one wild, brother. Yeah. And I picked up The Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, kind of a lackluster steel book, real plain. I like the yellow color. It reminds me of um, The King's Speech. The This one. Where's it at? Boom. Well, this one's a little bit brighter. This one's more of like a mustard. But uh, I already did a review on this movie. I did an unboxing on it. It's funny. This brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, when life gives you lemons. Then I picked up Anchorman 1 and 2, the Walmart exclusive steelbook. Um, I enjoyed Anchorman 2 better than I did the first. The first movie, uh, I find it really boring. And I tried to revisit it. I still found it boring. Um, I know it has... A lot of people like it. I didn't really like it. I liked the second one. Oh, excuse me. I liked the second one more. Man, there's the back of it. I like I like the cover of this. You know, it's kind of cool, but the movie itself was eh. And I'm a Will Ferrell fan. I just just couldn't get into this one. Lastly, here I picked up The Hobbit, uh, an unexpected journey, the extended edition steelbook. They had it at my Best Buy. It was like two left. So I thought, you know what the hell? I didn't pick it up the first time around. So this way, whenever the extended edition for the Desolation of Smaug, is that how you say that, comes out, whether they do a steel book or they do a digital book, um, I'll have a matching case for both. I didn't get it in the stores because um, I was hoping for a special kind of case. So hopefully when the extended edition comes out, I'll buy that, and then I will start my trip into Middle Earth. I've seen the first Lord of the Rings movie. Didn't like it. I saw pieces of the second one. I didn't. I just couldn't get into the Lord of the Rings. I think of what it was. There's too much hype surrounding it. You know, I don't. I'm not really big on the stuff that's overhyped. I don't know why. It's just not. But that's what I got there. Lastly, I got this new TV, Panasonic VRF 50 
think it's a 50 inch. They told me it was 55 inch. Uh, it's 3D. That's the main reason I got it. $250. That's all I paid for this. It's a pretty good TV. Uh, the 3D works. You just have to have the active shutter glasses. Uh, what do I have? I have it some expand. The Panasonic ones are like 80 bucks. What a rip off. Alright folks, that's all I had for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked my uh, big stack of movies that, that I had for you. Um, if you haven't checked out my top 10 most badass mass videos, please check that out. I think that's my funniest video to date. I hope you all like that one. I'll leave the link to it down in the description box. Um... Yeah, I guess that's all I have to say right now. Oh, my uh, weekly watch video. I haven't put it up this week because I was doing the Ninja Turtles theme. And I got through all the movies and some other stuff. Uh, two of the TV shows. So I kind of wanted to finish the TV shows before I did the weekly watch video. So I might do two weeks worth of watch. And I haven't really watched too much this week. I've been kind of busy. But uh, look for that video probably the beginning of next week. Uh, that's all I got for now. So until then, stay true, stay blue, and just know that I'm over here with the macho madness running through my veins, brother. Oh, yeah. You want a shot at the title? Mm, me and Miss Elizabeth will meet you down at ringside, brother. Oh, yeah.